In this demonstration, we're now going to use one of the tools that a lot of people often use to copy files and move things around Azure, and it's known as AZ Copy. And first, you do need to download it, much like we did with Storage Explorer. So head over to the following page, which you can see on screen here. Scroll down a little bit, and you can see, you know, you can download and install AZ Copy on Windows. Or if you select on the left-hand side, you can see AZ Copy is available for Linux as well. Now once it's installed, it is simply a command line utility, so head straight over to your command prompt. And you'll see in my case it's under C colon program files, Microsoft SDKs, Azure, AZ copy. If I do a directory list in there, I can see I have azcopy.exe. So with that said, well how do we actually start to use it? So we can use commands like this. We use AZ copy, and then we need to select the source. In my case, I'm going to say I want to take all those images that we uploaded to the blob store previously and I want to download them to a folder on my hard drive on my local laptop called c colon backslash images. So in my case I'm going to need the source HTTPS for the container in blob storage. So if I head over to Azure portal and go over to our storage account, let's go ahead and select our blob store there, select our container, and if I grab the properties for the container on the right hand side, if I just grab this URL, if I just hover over it, you can see it's for my storage account .blob.core.windows.net, which is the public URL slash images. And if I copy that and go back over to my command prompt, paste that in first of all, and I do need to preface that with slash source. So slash source colon, and then that's the source I want there. Uh, then I've got to put in my destination, so I'm just scrolling to the end here. So destination slash dest colon. In my case, I want to use c colon backslash images. And now I do need something which is the key in order to access the storage account. So if I do slash source key, colon and now I need to paste the key also from the Azure portal so I'm going to go back over there and go over to my storage account SL storage demo and if you see there on the left hand side you've got something called access keys now we are going to cover access keys in the subsequent module but for now simply select that and grab one of your keys here now don't share these out publicly you know I'm obviously going to destroy this account and everything you know as soon as I've completed this demo or regenerate the keys uh, but you definitely don't want these to be publicly exposed. Uh, go ahead and uh, grab that key and go over to AZ copy again. I'm going to paste the key in there. And then the only thing I need to add is a forward slash S because I'm copying a whole subdirectory of images. And so you need to use the slash S switch uh, to grab all the files. So if I go ahead and hit enter, and uh, didn't recognize that, so let me see what's going on there. Oh, I didn't type AZ copy correctly, so let's just go ahead and fix that little mistake there. AZ copy now, and hit enter, and then we can say it starts going off there. No speed information yet, but in a few seconds, there we go, you can see it's starting to transfer everything. Now if I go over to my hard drive, and go over to local disk C drive, you can see I've got a new folder there called images. If I expand that out, and you can see the images are starting to appear in the folder already as AZ Copy completes that download. So that's just a great way, you know, if I want to download images. Another thing I can do as well is perhaps transfer from one storage account to another. So to do that, we're going to take all the images from the storage account we've got in the portal. Let me head back over there and go over to uh, storage accounts. And you can see we have SL storage demo and SL storage P shell. So in this case, I'm going to take all the images in the container under SL Storage Demo and copy them to SL Storage P shell. So a little bit similar. Let's head back over to the command prompt. And what we're going to do here is use AZ Copy again. But in order to speed things up a little bit, I've copied and pasted some of the pieces from before into Notepad. So the first thing we're going to need is our source. So we're going to use the same storage account, SL Storage Demo and the images container in there. Then we're going to need the same key from that account. So our source key, same one again. Let's grab that and paste that in here. Now what I'm going to need in addition is the destination container URL and the destination key. Now because this is a different storage account, I need to head back over to the portal 
and go ahead to storage P shell account here. Let's first of all go ahead and create our container. So we'll create a new container here and let's call it images new as an example. Click OK, select our container, select the container properties and grab the URL and let's go ahead and just paste that in notepad for the time being. So that's our new destination and then we also need the keys. So let's go to this account, select the access keys, grab key one just like before and we'll put that in notepad as well. So now let's go back over to the command prompt and our next thing is to do the destination. So DEST colon and let's grab the first one we copied. So this HTTPS URL here. So that's the destination container in the other storage account. And the next thing we need is the key that we just copied. And finally, you can see I've got a couple of switches I'm adding here. So if we go back to the command prompt, we've got slash sync copy. And the reason I bring this one up is this allows the AZ copy tool to download the images from the storage account to my local machine and then re-upload them. And this ensures consistency and consistent throughput throughout and verifies everything is going successfully as we go. The alternative and actually the default is async copy, which you'll use 99% of the time if you're just trying to copy a whole bunch of files from one storage account to the other, just use um, asynchronous copy again, which is the default. And it'll go much quicker, it'll use up any bandwidth that's available but it's not really doing any kind of checking as it goes. It just tells you at the end if it completed or failed. And then finally, we still need the other switch, the slash S, because we're copying a whole bunch of files in the folder. And with that, go ahead and hit enter, and that will begin, and it'll take a little bit of time, but if we go over to the storage account, so this is our new storage account, go into our blob storage, Images new and hit refresh. You can already see one image is in there. Refresh this a few times and we should see, yep, they're starting to appear there. And with that, this concludes this demonstration. Hopefully, you can see the benefits of AZ Copy there. I encourage you to check out the URL at the beginning of the uh, demonstration here as it includes a lot of examples and different AZ Copy commands that you can use.